सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अदर वीडियो एज यू कैन सी दैट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू फाइंड बग्स ऑटोमेटिकली येस वी आर फाइंडिंग बग्स ऑटोमेटिकली यूजिंग सम टूल्स आई विल शो हाउ टू यूज द टूल विच इज वी आर यूजिंग न्यूक्लिया हेयर आई विल शो यू हाउ टू यूज न्यूक्लिया वट आर द बेस्ट मेथड्स टू यूज एंड सम अदर इम्पोर्टेंट नॉलेज सो लेट्स गेट इन दर वीडियो so here i am on my computer screen now first of all what tool we are using so we are using nuclei let me show you you have to go to google or your browser and search nuclei project discovery actually nuclei is from project discovery so you can type nuclei project discovery and go to the first web is one now here you can see that is the home this is landing page of project discovery.io now you can download nuclei new download and install nuclei in your kali linux it's very simple if you want to download nuclei then i will suggest you to go to github repository of project discovery this one i will give the links in the description So you don't have to worry about the links. So what are the pre requirements of nuclei? So there are some pre requirements like Go language and other. So first of all, you need Go language mainly. Then how you can install the nuclei? So you just have to run this command to install nuclei. It's very simple, and you have to execute the file. If you still, if you are still confused how to install nuclei, I will also. share a link in the description where you can learn how to install nuclei okay it's very simple it's not that hard if you try or if you try by yourself it's very easy to install after installing nuclei you have to install you have to download some nuclei templates so let's search nuclei templates github now go to the first link GitHub project discovery nuclei templates and simply git clone this whole repository. It's very simple. You know how to git clone. Just copy the code and do the git clone process. It's simple. You know that. So now, how you have installed the nuclei and you have installed the you have cloned the nuclei templates. Now, how to use them? to find bugs automatically okay so first of all let me go to a vulnerable website test php vuln web let me open the site now let me close my file explorer open my kali terminal you can see that is my kali terminal here now when you watch the video which i given in the description on how to install nuclei you can simply watch the video and install the nuclei if you face any problem okay so after installing nuclei you just have to type nuclei nuclei hyphen h and you will get the help menu of nuclei This is the help menu. You can just learn by yourself by reading this. This is a very there is a very great explanation of how to use and what thing is used for what and how you can use that. So, if you have a single target like you have only one website www.google.com, then you can use hyphen u. If you have a list of subdomains where you want to find bugs. then you can use the hyphen l to provide a list of urls okay now you can use hyphen tl to list all available templates we will do this you can also do hyphen t for templates things like as you can see that i have nuclei templates externally here okay and uh, i am also going to 
as as I said that you you have to copy the the nuclei templates. So here the nuclei templates are copied. And if I want to use these templates, I will give hyphen t and give the path of this thing, the the folder of nuclear templates. It's very simple. You just have to practice one or two times. Then these are some another command you can just learn by yourself. It's very simple. Even I think Project Discovery has its own page where they define the use of all these commands. They explain the command. I think so. If there is a website, I will provide in the description. And you can use tags and other thing. You can use the output string if you want a text file output of the result, or or the if you want a output. In the form of TX, then you can use hyphen O and give the path to I output. Now, these are another commands. You can see that there are update commands, statics, this command, and other things. So first of all, we will see what templates are available here, which is hyphen TL. Okay, so we will type nuclei nuclei hyphen TL. So it's loading all the templates. The WSL version of Kali is very slow. These are the all the templates available in the nuclei. I don't know how many templates are there, but yes, there are a lot of templates available. Let me stop this. Or otherwise, it will make a video longer. Let's scroll up. You can see that all the available templates are loaded on my on this location actually. Now, what are the templates here? You can see that there are CV and there na the name of the CV and their severity. Okay, so whenever you find a bug, you will see that CV ID, then the name of the CV or and its severity okay so here are some joomla severities and if you explore then there are a lot of things and you, you are gonna love that there you, you can find bugs automatically there are apache rc it can find it is able to find apache rc and a lot of other things it's great and the external templates you have installed are like let me show you what those templates contain so let me go to the folder so the folder with the folder repository you will clone which is nuclei templates the external templates you will see that this contain a lot of other vulnerabilities like if i show that if you go to cves then you will find the CVs which are sorted year year wise. Okay. If you go to um, fuzzing, then you will see that there are fuzzing resources. If you go to misconfigs, then there are misconfigs, misconfigs templates. These are used to find bugs automatically. These templates are actually used to find bugs automatically in a web page. If you go to the vulnerability, then you will see this type of vulnerabilities you can find which service one. These are these are sorted by a service. If you want to find WordPress vulnerability, then these templates are useful. Okay. Now let me show you one of the vulnerabilities. Some vulnerabilities like you can see that it finds open redirect, it will find WP config accessible it will also find catch CSRF it will find SQLI it will also find a lot of vulnerability it will find XSS okay there are a lot of things you can you should have whenever you're hunting for bugs after doing recon you have to just start using nuclei templates okay you may get us some hints what to we, you may get some hints but always aware that all the results given by nuclei are not positive you have to double check or manually check those results 
Sometimes they are false positive. Okay, so you have to keep this in mind. Now, there are a lot of vulnerabilities. If you go to technologies, then these are specified by technologies used by website. Oracle, Nginx, Google, AWS, Apache, Adobe, and other things. There are also XSS, special photo for XSS, SSRF, and other things. Okay, so this is how it works. Now, let me clear the terminal. Type nuclei nuclei hyphen h minus s they are same and we are going to use minus u hyphen u you can see that hyphen u and we are copying our website testpastebook.webweb.com pasting it here and let's make an output file as hyphen o i want the output file in i want the output file in tools folder in my tools folder so let me give the location to my tools folder we will name this file as test php dot txt now hit enter now the nuclei will find um, vulnerabilities on test PHP. So the, it may take some time. So so it's doing its work. Let me show you something. If you are new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button. And if you are not new, then you know that um, that our channel has launched the website, the Cyber Boy. I will suggest you to stay tuned on Cyberboy. You will find some free bug bounty courses, developer DevOps courses. You will also find some RDPs, cloud computing courses. All the blogs in which I have written complete guide have free course in it. Okay, so let me go to the complete guide of machine learning. And there is the photo is loading is still loading so I wrote a blog and in the end you will find some courses you can DM on Instagram so you will get some another free courses okay so it's useful and we are launching our workshop on bug bounty too and if you're interested to join the workshop on a bug bounty in ethical hacking or in API bug bounties then you can DM us on the cyber boy blog on Instagram or on my personal ID Hexer Freak, you can go there and DM us. Okay, so now let me close this and here let me open my Kali terminal and here you can see that NJ Nginx engine is using outdated version because I haven't updated it. I will update it soon. It is using the template version, which is latest template templates there are 296 templates new which are edited added new the total templates which is which are being scanned is 2306 templates are available and the cluster templates are 476 so here test here our nginx has found two informational things on on um on our website which is testpsp.webweb.com and it will take some time but yes nginx will find a lot of website or a lot of bugs in it okay so that's totally amazing nginx will find a lot of bugs there and it will give you a lot of idea what to hunt and where you can find bugs or where you can look for bugs okay so this is for the video thanks for watching and if you want to join our workshop DM us on our Instagram profiles and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.